Hi, before you begin, please make sure you have USB flash drive with your project inserted into Phantom G. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna switch to studio mode. So press the studio button. I assume you connected Phantom G to your computer with USB cable. So let's press uh, menu button now. It's under LCD screen. Uh, at this point, you're going to navigate to USB storage right here. So scroll to it and hit F8 to select. Uh, hit F2 to select USB memory. Your computer should detect uh, Phantom as another drive. In my case, it's drive I. So open it, find your project, go inside that folder, uh, open CEQ folder, and go into SMF folder. So this is where you're gonna drag your MIDI file from your computer. So just drag and drop it there. I already have one, so I'm replacing it. At this point, you're done. So disconnect the uh, your flash drive by going into the system sys tray and uh, pressing the safely remove device and your USB storage access on the screen sh should now show as idle so exit from the screen. Now you will need to load your project. Hit F1 and go to project menu. Hit F1 again to load. Hit F2 to switch to USB memory. Navigate to your project and press F8 to load. Now you're back to your studio play screen. First thing we're going to do is create new studio template. Press F5 to get studio set list. Uh, you will scroll down until you see an empty set that says init studio set. So hit F8 to select. Now you have initialized studio set with all the default settings. Let's name it and save it uh, to your project. Hit uh, the red right button on your keyboard. Make sure studio set is highlighted and hit F8. Now name your studio set by either using scroll wheel on the keyboard or your mouse. Uh, give it some meaningful name. Usually it should be same as your song name. Now hit F8 for OK, and at this point you should be careful and make sure you choose correct slot so you don't overwrite anything you created before. Uh, once you selected the correct slot, hit F8 to write. I already created mine, so I'm not going to save it this time, but you should. Next, we will load blank song. Press song button and scroll down to any empty song that says init song. Hit F8 to load. Now we have our initialized song. Before we can make any changes, uh, let's just save it. So hit right button, song should be selected and hit F8. In the next screen, you will name your song. Uh, if you have a mouse, you can use the on-screen keyboard, but if you don't have it, don't worry, you can just use scroller on your keyboard. So after you typed in the name, press F8 to save. Here again, make sure you're not overriding any of the existing songs. So press F8 to save. I'm not saving it because I already created one. Next, we're going to press F2 for SMF or MIDI list 
and choose MIDI file that you copied from your computer in the first step. Now hit F6 to song and confirm with F7. At this point you will see all the tracks from the imported MIDI file. They have been imported as phrases and usually will have some unique number at the end. Uh, you will probably want to go through all of the phrases, delete empty ones and clean up the rest. In order to edit phrases, you have to switch to song edit mode. Press F8 to go into it. Highlight phrases uh, that you want to edit with arrows or mouse and hit F4. Our first phrase looks empty. There are no notes in it, so let's just make sure by going to microscope mode by pressing F4. As you can see, there is nothing on the list. So press exit button, then press F8, and with the empty phrase highlighted, press F2 to delete it. Our next two phrases are also empty, so we're going to delete them as well. Finally, phrase on track 4 seems to have some notes in it. But before we do anything, let's just listen to what we have. So press play button. Well, this one actually doesn't sound too bad, but it doesn't sound very good either. Not to worry, in the next steps I will show you how to replace all the instruments or patches with better ones. Let's prepare our phrases by deleting all extra MIDI information and leaving just the notes. You should still be in the song edit mode. If not, switch to it. Highlight the phrase and hit F4 to edit. I don't know which part this is, so let's listen to it by pressing F7 or play button. Okay, I know this one. This is a piano intro, so I'll just call it intro. We'll be doing uh, most of a cleanup in the microscope mode, so get used to it. You can go into it by pressing F4. In, this, in the list on the screen, you see all the media data, such as note values, program changes, control changes, and so on. We only want notes, so we're going to delete all extra stuff, especially the program changes in the beginning. You can navigate this list with your scroll wheel. Notes are usually in red. We're going to scroll to the top and hit F2 to erase this CC command. Then we do the next one and so on. Program changes is the most important one you need to delete. So, after all the junk is deleted, press exit. Now we want to save our phrase. Press F2 to save. And I personally like to name my phrases. So, this name must be unique because it's going to be visible among other songs in the same project. So, I'll call this one Ace Intro and then just add number 1. So, hit F8 to save. 